Welcome back to Thursday on the Pagan Perspective. I'm your Thursday host, Yaka. And this week we have a topic from one of our awesome regular viewers, Tyler, who wants to know um, about our take on or whether we have encountered pagans who take the stereotypes a little too seriously, like those who um, take the, the idea of witch and think that, oh, they can literally ride brooms and turn people into uh, toads and and that kind of thing. Uh, so they had a rather in-depth question which will be posted in the description box if you want to go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, but without reading it, basically they asked whether uh, we had encountered folks like that before and how, if we did, did we handle it and how would we handle that uh, were we to. So first off, of course, yes. Um, and I've definitely encountered folks like that. And I want to say that I think it's something that is not unique to pagans. I think that uh, whatever group you're in, that that's people are going to behave like that, whatever it is. Um, you know, I've, I've found Christians who behave that way, or people in particular fandoms that behave that way. And at the end of the day, my take on it is that we don't have control over the way other people behave. We talked about that uh, in a recent video, I think just last month. But what I think that we can do is provide a very strong um, counter example that while there are people behaving in a kind of crazy fashion um, who are behaving as though these stereotypes or stories about us which are really demonizations of us are true we can show examples like this channel does or in, in other circumstances of examples of, hey, uh, I'm somebody who does identify as a witch or somebody who does identify as a pagan, and here's what I actually believe. Here's what a lot of people actually be believe and act like. That behavior that they are demonstrating is a small minority. Um, and here, here is another example. And to provide those other examples so that the I can do Harry Potter magic version is not the only thing being presented out there. Now of course there are certain circumstances in which it's appropriate to talk about things like religion and other circumstances in which it really isn't appropriate no matter what the religion is and I think each person uh, and each situation, situation, excuse me, um, should be judged in that that circumstance for itself um, but that really is my advice on it you know dealing with them one-on-one -on -one, just kind of shrugging their shoulders and and moving on but providing another example for everybody else on an alternative so that's my take would love to hear from any of you in the comment section if you have any advice or have run into that before and also, you know, what circumstances you can provide or do provide that counter perspective in. So until next week, take care.